After months out of the labor market to focus on school, 18-year-old Robin Spivak has started a new job, earning just above minimum wage at a coffee chain downtown. Everyone needs to work at some point. You got to get back into it. Though job growth in Canada slowed last month, the economy recorded the lowest unemployment rate on record. So we see on Indeed job postings well above uh, their, their pre-pandemic levels. Growth. This economist says a shrinking pool of available workers makes it harder for businesses already struggling to recruit, and they'll need to start looking at ways to compete, like higher pay. But this not-for-profit summer camp needs 100 workers quick and says it can't raise wages without raising fees. It's been extremely difficult this year. I would say we've shifted a lot of our resources to recruiting and hiring. Um, so we've really had to go above and beyond to try and find people. Along with job posting sites, visits to job fairs and ads on Facebook and Google, they're also creating videos for TikTok and Instagram, trying to connect with the young workers they need. I think we're getting to a point where there aren't many available workers left. And this economist says in all sectors, the labor market could get even tighter as Canada's population ages. Even with the ambitious immigration targets of over 400,000 people per year between now and 2024, that might not be enough to compensate for the number of workers who are leaving the workforce. That could give some leverage to those coming into the workforce if employers offer incentives like sign-on bonuses or more flexibility. When I get back into the school year, I'll have a little bit extra money saved up. For Spivak, she hopes to turn her part-time job into a full-time one this summer. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.